today's thought. The more one judges, the less one loves. Onward to Balzac. Matthew 7 Judge not, that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considereth not the beam that is in thine own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye? Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then thou shalt see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn again and rend you. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Or what man is there of you, whom, if his son asked bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him? Therefore all things whatsoever ye would, that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns, or figs of thistles? Even so every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them. Not every one that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Therefore whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. And it came to pass, when Jesus had ended these sayings, that people were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one having authority, and not as the scribes. One of the verses most used against a Christian trying to tell another what the Bible says about a subject is Matthew 7, 1. As soon as the listener hears that what he believes or is doing is contrary to biblical teachings, the judge not or you will be judged is whipped out as a defense. Although the verse is often misquoted, it usually does the job to silence one that is telling another what the Bible teaches about a topic. The one explaining what the Word of God teaches becomes silent, as he does not want to be judged by a holy God. But none of us are perfect. We should not judge another. But there are several matters we must discern to protect ourselves from wrong situations and influences. Here is what the rest of the chapter teaches about judging. We are to discern who should be given spiritual meat and who is not ready to receive it. Matthew 7, 6 says, Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn again and rend you. Like dogs and swine who do not do right with articles of value, 
Many people also may not be ready to hear some spiritual truths that a mature Christian would. We also need to discern false teachers and preachers. If some lives do not line up with the scriptures, they should be judged, so they can be ignored and avoided. Some of the first ones to holler, don't judge me, are often those with false doctrines that should be avoided. The ones that are teaching or preaching unbiblical doctrines need to be exposed. We are to discern, warn, and stay clear of those wolves. Also, we need to discern false teaching. If teachings are not from the Word of God, then they are not of God, and they will not produce anything useful. Discern wrong teaching and avoid them like the plague. A preacher I know warned the congregation of a television preacher of the past. He urged people not to support the man, as the televangelist was not teaching biblical doctrine. Many members got upset and left the church over the matter. It was years later that the pastor's prophecy came true, and the television evangelist was exposed and jailed. Because his doctrine was wrong, his spiritual fruit was also bad. Discerning Christians should discern what is not proper and biblical and stay clear of that influence. And also, we need to discern that not all that say they are Christians are. Just because a person stands in a garage does not make him a car. Just because a person goes to church or sounds religious does not make him a Christian. We are not to judge others' behaviors and sins, but we are to protect ourselves from wrong doctrines and influences. The only way we can keep from wrong influences is to discern right from wrong. The next time Matthew 7, 1 is hurled at you, and you are only discerning a spiritual matter in a spirit of helpfulness and not a hindrance, continue to show what the Lord wants others to know. If we do not tell them the truth according to God's word, who will? Thanks for watching. Until we meet again, may the Lord continue to bless and guide you.